both of you are very involved in the Be The Difference NIL. Is it a collective? Is that the yeah. correct word for it? Collective. Um, what is the Be The Difference NIL? Uh, essentially, it's it's a you know it's donors of of Marquette basketball that are, are are putting their money into this collective that in return will send our men's and women's basketball players out in the community with nonprofit organizations, uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters, uh, Mac Fund, Boys and Girls Club, a variety of different organizations. They do you know they do these events. They uh, use their platform. It's a win-win situation for everybody involved. It's the, the players, obviously, now, the student-athletes, obviously, now have a have their name, image, and likeness. They can get compensated for work. Uh, these organizations love it because, you know, high-profile, you know, athletes are coming and spending time with their kids or their organizations, um, and it doesn't, obviously, it doesn't cost them anything. The, collect, the collective is funding these events. Collective is funding the players. So uh, it's a win-win. We're trying to do it. The best way possible, obviously, NIL is relatively new, and it's it, with with other programs and other schools. We've seen it run a little differently, which is not uh, the way that Marquette is going to do it. And I think that's what you know kind of intrigued Steve and I to get involved. Is well, if we're going to do it, we got to do it the right way. And I think it's this is the best way possible, where at least there's some goodwill going into the community, into the Marquette community, the Milwaukee community, and there's uh, especially with how well both programs are playing the the visibility with the players is 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 as high as it's been in a long long time yeah and i think you know like travis said i think to us the biggest difference is look with the rule changes and the landscape being that now college athletes can be paid for their marketability which is really what nil name image likeness is um it's it's changing fast and i think that there's a lot of you know new there's a lot of new money and faces being introduced to it, you know, constantly. It's ever changing. And I think the reason Travis and I are involved is because we do want to do it differently here at Marquette. I think rec we, we both recognized that it's happening and it's happening with the schools that Marquette's competing against. And it's going to happen at Marquette University, whether we're involved or not. And so I think, you know, looking back at when Travis and I played, obviously we would have loved if there was NIL opportunities. There weren't. But for Travis and I, I think to just have been through that experience, to have been a college athlete, to have been in this case, a basketball player, to be able to, I think, be a, a resource to these guys and do it the right way, to not be a part of the university or affiliated with the university, but aligned, I think, with a lot of Shaka's values and the university's values and do it the right way and not be a car dealership or a restaurant. And a lot of those guys are absolutely fine and they're going about it the right way, but I think it's important. I think we think back to if we were in that situation, who would we hope was out there to work with us. And I think we don't have anything to gain by it. We're really attempting to to do this with Marquette University in a way that, you know, like Travis said, we can be a, a resource. We're not asking for them to sign long-term contracts with us where we have their name, image, likeness rights for years and years as they go on to the NBA. And so we want to be, I think, educational as much as we are a resource, you know, to, to the university or to the, we're obviously separate from the university, but um, it's changing fast. And I think Travis and I are certainly you know, invested in doing it the right way at Marquette and saying that a lot of the schools that Marquette's competing with are also doing that. We think it's important to uh, maintain a competitive advantage and make sure we keep doing it the right way. Hey, I just wanted to thank you for tuning into this clip of Milwaukee Uncut. We'd love it if you took a second to hit the subscribe button and also like this clip. That helps us get more eyes on this show here on YouTube. Thanks again for supporting Milwaukee Uncut.